five o'clock, a Catholic school in Uncasville facing closure now has some new hope. A group of alumni from St. Bernard School offered to buy it after the diocese had plans to sell it. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash explains what's next. First, I was sad. Then I was angry and then I became motivated. Jeff Londrigan graduated from St. Bernard School in 1989, but that wasn't the end of his commitment to Catholic education. It's a wonderful institution, the people, the family, the kids, um, and it's worth saving. After declaring bankruptcy, the Diocese of Norwich had plans to sell the school and the 113 acres it sits on. That meant the doors may close. Londrigan and seven others have formed Saints Country LLC to make sure that doesn't happen. We're counting on friends and alumni and parents and uh, anybody in the community that can contribute to to the purchase, not, not only just the purchase of the property, but also to support the endowment for the future of the school. So we're never in this situation again. Right now, Saints Country has a bid out for $6.2 million to buy this school and property. There are competing offers, but the school is hoping Saints Country wins out. It's sort of a David and Goliath situation. We're rooting for the friends, uh, Saints Country. The second offer is from an unknown buyer and is for more, $6.5 million. If that offer ends up being accepted, St. Bernard may not stay the St. Bernard that so many New London County families know. With that, there are no guarantees of uh, the future of the school. Saints Country is confident their offer will be accepted because of their relationship with the school, which will operate the same as it does now and always has if Saints Country takes over. It's a great education, a great experience to go to St. Bernard's and we need to preserve the school for the children, not just that are going there now, but kids in the future. It's unfortunate that it's put in this situation uh, and this predicament um, and the ones that should be least impacted by this are, are the children. In Uncasville, Luke Hydash, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.